from other countries in Uganda. But if you came here to look for Marewa in the valley, you must use a microscope somebody to say, mm, I see you probably in the other place. In the conclusion, government programs are many. And the, at this time, it's not good to talk about them. People will not listen. Because I had an announcement that wine is not yet flowing. <laughs> now, one of them which is most current is Parish Development Model. My president and my commander in chief So to hard. How do we eliminate? I'm using a hard word. How do we put, remove from our community? There's 90% of Ugandans who work for food only. That after they have labored, there is nothing they can have to take to the market. And they are 39%. They brought the parish development model with its seven pillars. Pillar number one is agro-processing. Pillar number two, if, infrastructure. Pillar number three, financial inclusion of giving people one million per family among the 39 the more, so that they can enter the financial market. The others is mindset exchange. And that's where your Royal Highness and your institution is the most urgent required. What is it that we tell the people? Whose mind are we changing? Is it the mind of the people who know where Marewa is and they can get it and get money from it? Or is it the mind of us who went to school and you don't know the value of eating Marewa? Whose mind is it necessary or which mind are we going to change? And the, that is the problem we have. As a plan of security organization, we have tried to assess and your Royal Highness who shall come to you so that we work together, one, on identifying who are the poor. I am sure those of you have been in the village, you have seen the Jesus, the Gomorrah, in terms 